All right, this video is our start of discussion on metals. Metals make up the majority of our elements. There are a lot of them, but as long as you follow patterns, you should be able to tell me uh, how each one uh, reacts because they are pretty simple. Um, and they are grouped in organization on that periodic table. Um, but to start off with just some basic uh, information about metals, um, I want you to start thinking about what we use metals for. Uh, I'm sure the word metal is not new to you. Uh, for example, here we have aluminum. Aluminum is found all over the place. You use it in your pop cans, your soup cans. Uh, it's used for cooking. You might have put your turkey in an aluminum uh, foil dish before you put it in the oven. Uh, it's also used in airplanes. Uh, the Wright brothers actually needed aluminum to build their first airplane because of its durability, how strong it is, versus its actual uh, weight. Uh, when aluminum was first discovered, it was actually an extremely valuable metal because of this property. And when the Washington Monument was first constructed, it was capped with aluminum as a display of wealth because at the time people believed aluminum was like the greatest metal of all time to have. It had more value than gold. Uh, after we found out that it was pretty abundant, uh, its value did decrease. So um, We use iron a lot. Um, from fencing to automobiles here. Um, a lot of times iron is mixed with uh, carbon and maybe chromium, for example, to make carbon steel. Uh, but uh, iron itself is uh, used in like nails and stuff. Um, it is uh, a metal. It's not like aluminum. It's very uh, heavy and it actually is pretty easy to uh, bend its shape into different things which we'll get to. Uh, copper. Copper is very great for uh, carrying electricity. Uh, you might hear on the news every now and then that someone went and broke into a house and stole the copper wiring out of it because copper is extremely valuable these days. Um, we are getting to the point where we've mined most of the copper out of our earth um, so we do need to find alternatives to copper uh, in the future here, or just keep recycling your different metals, which is very important. Um, other things are like zinc. Um, it's a common misconception that pennies are made of copper, which they are not. All of your coins, in fact, are made of zinc. So zinc is found in other things like sunscreen, too. Uh, they have varieties of different uses. Um, I'm sure you can think of other uses for different metals as well. But let's look at properties. We're going to start with some physical properties here and how you would describe metal. Can remember, physical properties are about shape and form. So I can say that metals in general, on the large scale, all metals are going to be smooth, all metals are going to be shiny, and all metals are going to be hard. Now that might vary in how smooth they are, that might vary in how shiny they are, and that might vary on how hard they are, but overall compared to non-metals and metalloids, metals are going to be smooth, shiny, and hard. Remember we are going to be describing things based off of physical and chemical properties, so there was a list of physical properties there. Um, some examples of physical properties and some vocabulary words that you need to know is malleability, ductility, and conductivity. Malleability is the ability of your metal or your material to be hammered or rolled into sheets um, in other shapes. So aluminum, you can think aluminum gets rolled into sheets, such as like aluminum foil, that's pretty easy. But all metals are malleable. You can roll all metals into sheets and you can hammer them into different shapes. Ductile is the other property. Ductile means the ability to pull into wires. So over here we have some copper tubing. Uh, they use copper tubing a lot for distilling different liquids to make like vodka or even distilled water, I guess. Um, different alcohols use distilling processes. Um, over here is um, <coughs> aluminum wiring uh, that can be pulled into wires as well. So metals tend to be ductile. Now some are going to be better pulled into wires than others, uh, but they all should be able to be pulled into wiring. Uh, next is conductivity. This is the ability to transfer heat or electricity. So it goes with heat and electricity. So here we do have our heat. You ever hold like a pot over a stove, eventually the handle gets hot because it's transferring the heat through 
your metal pot into your hand. That would be heat conductivity. We also have electrical conductivity, such as through wires like coaxial cables in your televisions, or uh, computers even these days have some. But the ability to transfer electricity through it. Um, other physical properties uh, are going to vary in metals. Some metals are going to be magnetic. Uh, for example, iron, nickel, and cobalt, which um, should have been gone over in years before. Uh, and there is going to be one metal that is going to be at room temperature is going to be a liquid, and that is mercury. So keep in mind, even though it is a liquid, it is still a metal at room temperature. Um, it's just a different state, but mercury is still considered a metal.